Bill Browder, investor and Kremlin critic. Last time he was on this show, he said Mr. Putin was trying to kill him. Take a listen. Um, yeah, Putin wants me, he wants to like, you know, kill me as quickly as he can, get me out of the picture um, uh, in the same way as we, the, the United States and, and the rest of the world want, want these Russian guys who are, who are hacking elections locked well, away. But now he is warning foreign investors still active in Russia that they are risking their own lives as well as their clients' money. Come in, Bill Browder, Hermitage Capital CEO uh, in London uh, for us. Bill, um, what is your exposure to Russia now? We know that the Russians are not happy with you. You've been following what you say are their criminal uh, dealings, following a paper trail of money laundering and, and, and so on. Are you still doing that? And where are you in that process? <clears throat> Well, first of all, let me say that I haven't been investing in Russia for uh, about a decade. Uh, it's an uninvestable place. Um, since the murder of my lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky, in 2009, I've been going after the people who killed him. Mm. And uh, one of the things we've been doing is, is to figure out uh, where the money went that he exposed that he was killed over. And, and that's gone to a bunch of European banks. So we've made criminal complaints to the authorities in, in Sweden, Denmark, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, and many other countries. And there are now... Uh, criminal cases open. There are uh, bankers that have been fired. There are assets that have been frozen. Um, and of course, this makes Putin a very unhappy man. Uh, I was reading with interest, you were detained in Madrid last year. You kind of got thrown into the back of a car. You didn't really know where you were going. A horrible situation. Of course, you would fear the worst. Uh, you were released from that. But do you spend your life looking over your shoulder? We know the Russians behind a Novichok attack in Salisbury in the UK um, against a former Russian uh, citizen. I mean, that's got to be in the back of your mind. <clears throat> yeah, of course. In fact, um, uh, Russia right now, as we speak, um, has applied to Interpol the seventh time to try to have Interpol arrest me whenever I travel. Right. Uh, Interpol will be making their decision on Monday next week. And so uh, this is a, 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 an active persecution that's being organized by Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin against me. So you warn foreign investors still active in Russia that they're risking their own lives. I mean, how much money is being invested in Russia these days? Well, not a lot. The, the mm. amount of foreign direct investment has, has dropped by about 95%. Um, it's, it's not, a, it's not a, a welcoming investment climate. And most people who don't have to be there aren't there. I mean, the big oil companies are there because that's where the oil is and a few other big uh, international companies. But if you have a choice to be in Russia or not be in Russia, um, it's not a place to be because it's a kleptocracy. It's a criminal right. state. And everything that you have could be stolen at any point. And if you try to fight for your assets, you could end up being killed. Switching gears a bit, Bill, uh, you, you manage money, you're in London, Brexit nightmare goes on. Uh, how do you see this thing playing out? Are we ever going to have a resolution? Well, I, I was wrong about uh, my prediction about Brexit happening in the first place. I was surprised <laughs> that it did happen. And so I'm not sure that my predictive powers mean a whole lot here. Uh, it seems to be that, that um, uh, there, there seems to be so many different people with so many different views that it's going uh, to... I don't see how anyone's going to come to a consensus, but um, uh, right across the river from where I am, they're yeah. arguing about it right now. They are indeed and have been for years now, and who knows when it's going to be over. Bill Browder, as always, thank you very much for joining us, Bill. Really appreciate it.